Namaste. Welcome to your practice. Today is day four of our detox yoga challenge. In today's class, I will take you through total body from head to toe, decompressing, de-stressing, and detoxifying flow. You don't need any props except your yoga mat and yourself. If you need water, have just a glass of water ready. And let's begin our class starting in mini savasana. Feel free to start with nice and gentle long one line body stretch. Now opening up your legs about mid distance apart, releasing your arms down by your side. Walking your shoulder blades in, turning your palms facing up towards the sky. Close your eyes. Begin to just allow your physical body deeply falling down onto the mat. With eyes closed. Begin to stay inward. And notice how you breathe. Let's have another moment to settle into this present moment. Breathe deeply in through your nose. Open mouth, side it out. Let's do it once more. Inhale through your nose. Sigh big, let it all go. Spread out your fingers and toes as wide as you could. Now squeeze your feet, squeeze your toes. Open, close, few rounds. Bring your ankles together, flexing your feet as you pressing your heels down, lower back, mid back pressing and arms circling up over your head. Interlacing your fingers and push your palms up high over your head. Heels pressing, upper body lengthening. Keep on breathing. And releasing your arms down by your side, pull your knees close to your chest. Wrapping your hands around your shins, lifting up your head and neck up. Lower back pressing down to the mat, shoulders relaxed. Squeeze your thighs on top of your belly. Let's lower the feet down to the mat, arms out to T-shape, relaxing your head and neck down. Twisting your hips side to side. Bring your knees back to the center, extending right leg goes up towards the sky. You can keep your right knee a little bit bending if that feels better on your hamstring. If you could go a little bit further, get it straight all the way up. Circling your right ankle. And reverse. Let's bend your knee, opening up your right inner thigh to the side. And circling all the way straight down, pull your knee back to your chest. Keep circling through your right hip three rounds. Let's 
Let's reverse. Extending both legs straight down once more, arms up over your head, stick pose. Rebending both knees, arms out back to T shape, twisting the legs side to side. Back to the center, left leg goes up toward to the sky. Move your ankles, circling one direction. And to the other direction. Bend your left knee, opening up to your inner thigh with your hip. And circling all the way straight down. Pull your knee close to your chest and big circle. Continue. Reverse. Extending both legs straight down, arms back up again. One last round. Sick pose. Bend your knees. Let's rolling onto your right side. And slowly push yourself up to table to position. Let's tuck your toes under in your table. Come high onto your fingertips. Rocking forward and back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Whenever you're sending your hips to your heels, watch your heels facing up and your toes are nice and wide open. Two more. And one more. As you're rocking forward, let's circle through your right side. Reverse. Coming back to table, turning your fingers all the way toward your knees and pressing your palms down. We're taking a few rounds, cats and cows from here. Inhale, drop the belly, push your chest and chin up. Exhale, rounding one foot at a time. Move through cats and cows. If this is too much on your wrist, you can turn your fingers to the outer side, straight to the outer side, or if you prefer, fingers facing forward. We're coming back to neutral spine. Let's turn your fingers facing forward and transitioning into puppy pose. Hips over your knees as you melting your spine, chest, shoulders, and forehead down. Just close your eyes. Feel your spine decompressing. And if you'd like to add some movements, you can just rock in your head side to side, dipping one shoulder down at a time slowly walking yourself back to table to position lifting up your knees up and make your way to down or facing dog Inviting any movements in your first downward facing dog of today's practice. Bending one leg at a time. So check in how you feel around your ankles, your calves. 
up to your hamstrings. You can gently adding some movements with your hips side to side. Find stillness in downward facing dog. Look in between your ankles, breathe in. Open mouth, side it out. Let us gazing forward, feet together, touch. Big step, step to the top of your mat. Hands to your shins or down to your feet, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Reverse one dive, pressing your feet, root to rising, one vertebra at a time, all the way up. Prayer hands down through the center gravity and arms by your side. Inhale, circle the arms up. Looking at your thumbs. Exhale, swan dive. Halfway flip back, getting longer. Exhale, step back to plank, hold and breathe. Shoulders over your wrists, push the ground. Feel yourself nice and firm. Stay two. One. Lower the right knee down in line with your hip. Pivot your back foot down, please. Maybe walk your right hand a little more in line with your right knee. Let's push the mat, opening up to the side. Side plank variation. Pull shoulders away from the ears. And let's bring your upper hand closer, closer towards your ear. Adding two flow here. Inhale, extending left hand goes up to the sky. Exhale again. Bring it close by your face. One last round. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, bring it close by your face. Stay two breath. Gazing down, lower your left hand down to the mat. Let's turn your back heel up. Step back to downward facing dog. Beautiful. Right leg reaching up toward to the sky. Three-legged dog. Let's bending through your knee, opening up to your inner thigh and your hips. Extending your right leg goes back up toward to the sky. And pull the knee to your chest. We step it all the way forward. Pressing and rising up to high lunge. Breathe in. Stay settled, breathe out. Reaching, maybe gazing slightly up. Exhale, lower your fingertips all the way down to the mat and we're sending the hips back, exhale. Let's continue to flow like this another three rounds. Bend your front knee, sweep the arms back up, low, sorry, high lunge. Exhale, lower the hands down to the mat and send your hips back. Two more like this. Let's continue to flow together. As you send your hips back, we stay, relax, shoulders soften, and continue to breathe. Let's rebend your front knee, step back to Vinyasa flow. Plank, Chaturanga, Tondasana. You can go all the way down to Cobra, or if you could take it a little bit more, upper facing dog. And we meet at downward facing dog. Full breath in. Open mouth. Before we move on to the left side, open your legs about mat distance apart. 
and let's walk in your hands toward your legs. As you're pressing your feet, turning your toes to the outer side, and let's bend your knees deeply toward your second toes, so you are not knocking inward nor outward too much. Pressing your feet and your knees, checking again over your second toes. Bring your hands to your inner thighs and just gently push toward the outer side. Let's turn your palms up. Push your spine straight forward. Shoulders relaxed. Malasana yogi squat. Even if you can go all the way down, I need you to be just stop here. Half squat. One more. Very nice. Let's lower the fingertips down to the mat. Hips up. Turn your feet in. And relax your head and neck down. Halfway inhale, flat back, adding twist. Right knee softly bend. Right fingertips toward to the middle, opening up to the left side. Breathe in. As you breathe out, swing your left hand over your head, and we soften both knees. Fold forward. Roll up to stand, one vertebra at a time. Circle the arms up high. Inhale, slide back bend. Exhale, swan dive. Halfway flip back. Inhale. Let's twist to the other side. Left knee soften. Left fingertips down to the middle, opening up to the right side. Lengthening breathing. Right hand goes over your head. Feel the connection. And fold deeply down. Gazing forward, walking forward to downward facing dog. Reset your body, reset your breathing. Downward dog as your home base. Check in how you feel again. Let's come in forward to plank position. Start to bring a little more heat into your body, and let's lower the left knee down in line with your hip. Pivot the back foot down. Walking your left hand a little more forward, slowly find your balance and strength to opening up to the right side. Very nice, lengthening breathing. Exhale, bring your right hand close by your face. We continue to move like this. Few more. Inhale, right hand goes up. Exhale, bring it close by your face. Two more. One last round. Beautiful. Let's gazing down. Lower the right hand down. Turn your back heel up, and we're sending your left leg straight all the way back to three-legged dog. Bending through your left knee, opening up to your inner thigh and your hips. Reaching back up toward to the sky, relaxing your head and neck. Let's bring the knee to your chest, and we step it all the way forward. Root to rise, all the way up to high lunge. Breathe in. Lower the hands all the way down toward to the mat, and let's send your hips back. Exhale. Inhale, rebending the knee and sweep the arms back up toward to the sky. Exhale, lower the hands down and send your hips back. Let's continue to flow like this. Few more. One last round. Rebend your knee.
step back to let's take vinyasa flow back to downward facing dog relaxing your head and neck coming back to your breathing let's lower the knees down to child pose you can bring your arms down by your side and resting your shoulders and neck if you prefer extending arms straight forward you can rest like that in your child pose stay to breath If your arms are by your side, extending them straight forward, coming forward back to table to position. Keep your knees together, touch, extending right leg straight back, creating lots of space into your hips and lower back. And as you exhale, let's bring your knee to your left elbow and swing to opening up, touch your right elbow, opening up to your inner thigh and your hip to the side. And we swing all the way straight back to stretch. We go two more like this. Inhale, pull it close to your left elbow, right elbow, swing, and straight back. One last round. Beautiful. Let's pull the knee to your right elbow. And we step it toward to the edge of your mat. Walking your fingers in line with your right toes, lifting up your chest and gazing slightly forward. Let's breathe into your left hip flexor, deep into your psoas. Place your left palm down toward to the left corner of your mat and let's sweep the right hand straight forward. Inviting lots of space before we twist, inhale. As you exhale, let's bend your back knee, swing and open twist toward to the right side. Keep sending your right hand toward to your foot. Don't worry if they don't touch, keep coming toward each other. Continue to flow like this, three rounds. Inhale, lower the back foot down, extending right hand straight forward, gazing down, Belly down toward to the ground. Exhale again. Bend your back knee deeply. Swing and twist. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One last round. Exhale. If you can catch your foot, do so. If not, still okay, keep coming towards each other. If you're holding onto your foot, keep kicking your foot into your palm to opening up to your chest and shoulders. Well done, carefully releasing your foot and swing your right hand down to the center. And gently push, walk yourself back and swing your right leg straight back to child pose. Well done. We're adding gentle moving cats and cows. Inhale, rounding one little bit of time forward to table. Exhale, dropping your spine one little bit of time. Push the mat, hips to your heels, child. Continue to flow like this another three rounds. Walking your hands all the way up to your thighs, sitting up tall on your knees. Circle the arms up, inhale, catching your left arm, gently pull up high, circle through your wrist, reaching up tall, swing behind your lower back. 
Interlacing your fingers and pressing through your knuckles, lifting up your chest, gazing up toward the sky. If you're okay with your neck, just relaxing and throw your head and neck back. Bring your spine back up, releasing your hands back up toward the sky. Catch your right arm, lifting up tall, circle through your wrists. Reaching up high, big sigh, arms down, by your side. Take your head rope one direction. Reverse. Circle the arms up high, inhale. Exhale, make your way back to table to position. Belly engage, push the mat, extending left leg straight back. Lengthening, breathe in. Use your core, pull your knee to your right elbow. Left elbow touch. Open your inner thigh and your hip and swing straight back. Continue to flow like this. Two more. Straight back and hold. Let's bring the knee to your left elbow. Step it toward to the edge of your mat. Walk your hands a little forward in line with your left toes. And just gently push your belly chest, gazing slightly forward. Feeling this connection from the crown of your head all the way to the front of your body, connecting to your right hip flexor down to your toes. Let's place your right palm firmly down to the mat, extending left hand straight forward. Keep your neck nice and long, breathe in. As you gently twist, let's bend your back knee, extending your hand towards your foot, foot coming towards your hand. Inhale, lower the back foot, extending arm straight forward, gazing straight down. Exhale again, gentle twist. Continue to flow with your own pace twice more. If you can catch your foot, Kick your foot into your palm and keep spinning your upper body up toward to the sky. Carefully release. Walking yourself up a little bit. Push your hips back and swing your leg back to child pose. Breathe in deeply, sinking into your hips, exhale. Come forward to table, chaturanga, all the way to your belly. Pressing into your belly, arms out to T-shape, and let's bend your right knee. Peel your thigh off of the ground, breathe in. Exhale, spin your body toward to the left side. Opening up to your right inner thigh. Stay. Breathe into your chest. Let's roll down onto your belly. Right leg straight down. Left knee bend. Peel your thigh off of the ground. 
Breathe in. Exhale. Spin your body toward the right side. Slowly undo yourself, coming back to your belly, arms straight forward, legs straight back, tailbone down toward the heels, pressing as you extending. Let's bend your elbows toward the outer side, forehead resting on top of your hands. Bend your knees, circle through your ankles. and to the other direction. Circle your full legs one direction. And to the other side. Lower the feet down, palms by your ribs lifting up and make your way to cross leg position. As we sit up tall, roll your shoulders down away from the ears, drop the head and neck down toward the left shoulder. Coming back to the center, drop it heavy toward the other side. Come back to the center, arms out to T-shape, crossing your right hand to catch your left knee, extending your left hand goes up and lower down toward to the right side. Bending your upper elbow to just catch your neck and see, feel the side body alongside your hips and just lengthening, sit bones pressing, Soften the bottom shoulder. Coming back to the center carefully, arms out to T-shape. And as you lean back, just crossing your legs to the opposite direction. Arms out to T-shape. Exhale, left hand swing to catch your opposite leg. Extending up and over to the side. Let's catch your neck. So relax into your neck and shoulders. Breathe into your side body. Come up gently. Good job. And releasing your hands back, legs straight forward. And let's go through some ankle roll and to the other side. Pressing your heels, toes up to the sky, push your palms up over your head. Exhale, you can start with bending the knees or get them straight and just lean forward and down deeply, seated, fold forward. If you can catch your feet, outer side of your feet catch. Keep lengthening your spine forward, relaxing your shoulders. Pachimoto Nasana. We stay here to breath. Let's slowly come up and make your way back to cross leg position to finish. Let's holding on to your shins and lifting up to your spine. Have a moment to just notice your physical body into more state of peace. Check in with your breath and your emotional body. Perhaps feeling a little bit calmer. Perhaps your breathing is a little more comfortable. 
pray our hands together at your heart center. Let's pull your chin down, eyes closed, thinking to yourself for showing up on your mat, for your body, mind, and spirit. Congratulations, finishing day four of our 10-day yoga for detox challenge. Hope you're feeling a little more refreshed and rejuvenated. Thank you so much for sharing your beautiful energy into today's class. And I'm so looking forward to seeing you on the next practice. See you again. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.